Hey, all you Marvel zombies. We have some new comic reviews this week, and uh, I'm going to start off with Miss Marvel number 38 or 57, whatever you feel like doing. And this is by a whole bunch of people, actually. Uh, this is by uh, G. Willow Wilson. She's also accompanied in the writing department uh, by Delvin Grayson, uh, Eve Ewing, Jim Zub, and uh, Sal let's see, Saladin uh, let's see, Admin. And oh, we got Nico Leon and, geez, a whole bunch of people. <laughs> uh, essentially, this is a celebration kind of of G. Willow Wilson's last issue. Um, and she's done something very interesting in that when uh, creators know they're kind of like wrapping things up on their series, uh, they tend to go big and go like a big epic, like end of the world kind of thing. And to be honest, it's usually a pretty, you know, easy go-to good idea. Uh, for the end of your series. I know I've thought about doing that for things I've done. Um, she goes the opposite direction. She goes on a more personal uh, journey uh, with uh, Kamala and her friends. And actually, that's a big deal. Where, uh, let's see, last couple of issues, we've seen some uh, little notes kind of like sewn up between uh, members of her family. Her brother's like been given a job promotion that he's always kind of wanted. Uh, and. Let's see, she's like, you know, become like better, tighter friends, uh, better, tighter <laughs> with her friends, where they know that she's Miss Marvel. And her relationship with Bruno has actually been finally solidified. Now they are actually kind of a couple. And let's see, I love, by the way, side note, I love this page. This one really like, this is Nico Leon, and I absolutely love their work uh, throughout this uh, series. I'm really going to miss. Leon's work as much as Wilton. Uh, this is kind of a celebration of the book because uh, she goes to like the uh, Circle K to hang out with friends and like some kind of weird space porthole time thingy sucks them into some sort of video game-ish type of dimension and they all kind of have to you know find things about themselves in order to like get to the next level and the art's done in uh, slightly different styles. Uh, which is kind of cute and funny. And, of course, it, it brings them back all the way back to uh, the end, which actually kind of, like, has them even, like, kind of, like, face themselves when they first met in kindergarten and stuff like that. Oh, uh, It's really sweet. It's a really sweet issue. Uh, there's no explanation of why the time thingy video game porthole thing works. Uh, but to be honest, this is the Marvel Universe. I mean, those things are probably like, I don't know, tornadoes or something in, uh, in their world. You just, like, got to be careful. You might be sucked into some weird video game dimension. Uh, and you have to, like, figure out something about your character in order to get out. Which, actually, to be honest, that sounds better than the occasional tornado. Uh, yeah, this is a really sweet issue. Um, I really enjoyed, like, uh, Wilson's last few issues. They've been really nice and emotional and you can really tell how much she cares about the characters um just by what she's been doing uh in these issues it's a really sweet issue uh i am really excited for the new let's see magnificent miss marvel number one it's like okay you're renumbering it but you're at least putting in like a net, another word in the title and you got a new crew working on the book so okay all right marvel i'll give you that um but you know hey in the old days they used to change, like, uh, I, th I think they turned Journey into Mystery into Thor and kept the numbering. Now they don't even, they, you, they can have the same team and everything on the book and change the numbering. Uh, do I bitch about that a little too much? Maybe I might, maybe a little bit. Anyway, uh, that starts next month. Uh, I'm very excited to see uh, what uh, Saladin does with uh, Miss Marvel. I'm very excited uh, on what uh, Wilson's been doing with Wonder Woman. I hope she'll eventually like jump back onto this book. Uh, five years this is celebrating, and this was kind of a good note to go out on. I think a five-year run is excellent. Um, you know, I gotta you know, congratulate her. She's done like a magnificent job, kind of bringing this character. Uh, this character is probably one of the more important characters that uh, have come up in the last I don't know, 10, 20 years. I remember having conversations shortly before Miss Marvel showed up about, like, who are the characters that have been popping up 
and recently in comic books that really have had long lasting power. I mean, there's been like Harley Quinn and, and Deadpool and the Ninja Turtles, if you want to go back to the late eighties. Uh, but you know, after that, like who's had real like staying power. And it's kind of nice to get the feeling that Ms. Marvel has kind of joined that group. Uh, so uh, five Ram chips. Uh, love this series. It's really uh, if you haven't like picked up Miss Marvel, uh, go back and pick up the the, uh, the original number one, and you know keep reading. This really lovely series. So uh, I highly recommend this and pretty much the whole line. Uh, we'll see you next month with uh, Magnificent Miss Marvel number one, and um, this ish this episode of New Comic Reviews is brought to you by Spirits Destiny number two Kickstarter. It's available now. Support the Kickstarter for uh, Short Fuse Media's new issue, uh, created by uh, Dorfees Jean. So uh, you can also hit me on my social media stuff. I'm on Twitter, Facebook. Uh, my comic book, Red Knight, is supported on uh, Facebook. Uh, and you can support this channel on Patreon. And, you know, just starting at a dollar a month. All right. I think uh, I'm done talking about stuff. So push the button, Lindsay.